Welcome back to the channel. We've just spent the night at this little car park next to Steam Mills Lake. So a bit of a surprise, I thought um, this would be a perfect camp here um, because it's the, the access road is so bad to get up but overnight all these beer cans, coke cans and beer packets and other rubbish has appeared so it's obviously a little place where the kids hang out. We heard one or two at least two boy racer type cars yeah, making I, really loud revving noises. Yeah, they sounded more like um, four wheel drive to me, you know, like yeah. Land Rovers or something. Yeah. I would imagine they might use this because it's so rough, they might enjoy using it. Yeah. Anyway, not a good one, so we'll cross this one off our list. We are Carol and Ken and we like touring in our little red camper, a tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We mostly wild camp and like to show the scenery, van life, food and a bit of history. People tell us that we're relaxing to watch, so give us a try and see if you agree. If you do, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper. We just went past a place called Route 66, which we thought was a diner. It turned out to be a hairdresser's, didn't it, Charlie? Good job we didn't go in for an American breakfast. Yeah. Come to Mitchell Dean in search of some breakfast. Just in there. The key. And the old uh, parking warden came and uh, was taking details of all the vehicles in the car park. Now it looks like he's sitting in his car. Yeah. It's probably going to give him 10 minutes. Yeah. And then slap on all the tickets. Yeah. Good job you bought a ticket, eh, Charlie? Well, I would have bought a ticket anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, could have just parked here. <laughs> mind. 50p. This is the place, the Well Wishers Cafe. Any sauces? What are you having, Charlie? Uh, breakfast roll. I'm having their Well Wisher breakfast. You see loads of tradesmen using the place. It's a good sign the breakfasts are good. Okay, I enjoyed that. Thank you. Yeah, we haven't paid we you. Haven't paid you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I couldn't see any information on what this place used to be when it was first built, but currently it holds a brewery and a pub. need some supplies so we're going to pick them up here at the local co-op. Put the bin back, all done. done. Fine. What do you think of your breakfast then Charlie? Yeah well, I just had a bap but it was very nice, just what really I wanted. Good. Very uh, good value for money. Yeah and very friendly in there aren't they? Yeah so, so that we can... was only um, £10 for yeah. your full breakfast, my bap and two big mugs of tea. Yeah very well, good value. Really good. 
Yeah. So we can recommend the Well Wisher Cafe. Well Wishers Cafe. In Mid Mitchell, Mitchell Dean. Mitchell Dean. Yeah. What those two doors are on that building there. Mm. Seen anything like that before? So after that big breakfast, we fancy a bit of a walk now and we're on our way up to a place called May Hill. is just up the hill to this clump of trees where there's a viewpoint. Yeah, it's very winter's coming. I think it's here. <laughs> Not officially yet. Got down to two degrees last night in the van. Yeah. In the, well, not in We're the not van. We're not in the van, outside the van. Outside the van, yeah. We were 15 degrees in the van when we woke up. Yeah. Still heat are working well. Yeah, very well. Can't make me climb hills after my breakfast. I'm out of puff, so I'll pretend I'm looking at these mushrooms. Grazing horses. Cheers, my dear. It's not a kisser. No, it's a big paddock gate. You ready? Right. Looks like it could be a pumpkin on the floor, doesn't yeah. it? Spooky gangs on from Halloween, eh? Yeah, I bet some people are up here Halloween. Having yeah. a spooky party. Reminds me of um, in the Ashdown Forest, that clump up on the top. Oh, I know, where and we the, normally park. Yeah, and there's a seat you can sit yeah. on to look at the view. What's this strange thing in oh, the middle? Oh, I think it's a pumpkin. It's a really weird one, isn't yeah, it? I mean, no, it is a pumpkin. Pumpkin, but... unusual colour. Yeah. yeah. Its face is round this side, I think. Oh, yeah. it's upside down. Has it fallen over? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ooh. Yeah. Freeze. Oh, you touched it now. Not only with my foot. Now what's going to happen? I'm not touching it with my hand. Quick, back away. Back away. It'll haunt your dreams what's tonight. This thing here that... Victoria here. era. So I can see it for the sun really. This plaque replaces one which was erected in 1887 by the parish of Longhope at the planting of these trees right. to commemorate the golden jubilee of Queen Victoria. At the same time, the land within the ditch was given to the parish for all time. So from 1887. Well, well done to them. And then they've erected this, the other side, for Queen Elizabeth II for her Golden Jubilee. Oh, bit oh of actually her Silver Jubilee, 1977. Bit of forward planning there. Yeah. Here's your trig point. Yeah, here, I'll show you here. What's it say? This is the Seven Vale. Right. Looking out to the Cotswold Hills. Yeah. Forest of Dean. And the Malvern Hills that way. Right. And the Welsh mountains that way. Nice one. Some nice benches here for you to sit on once you've reached the top. Someone's lost their jumper.
find your geocache then? Not the one at the top of the hill. There's one down in the trees on the way back. It's about only allowing the absolute minimum cable. <laughs> Just enough to go in. Hello, okay. big dog. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. The deer cash hunt is on. We think. Somebody said there was a little path through to it. Some folks she was never seen again. <laughs> and that's the end of the channel. There comes a time in every trip where one of us starts to get fed up, and that is usually me. I'm not really sure what triggers it, but at some point the novelty factor of riding around mm. in the van wears off. And that's why I drive slowly. You never know what's around the corner, do you, Charlie? No. The feelings haven't fully formed in my mind yet, but I know they're lurking there as we drive into Newent for a walk around the town. Okay, bunny. Let's go. There are all the pubs and cafes. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Newent was once a medieval market and fair town, and it's been here since at least Roman times. Cute little tractor seat for some kid to have his hair cut. Sometimes people ask us if we ever fancy going full time. To be honest, I don't know how people manage it. We go away in our van to escape the boredom of being at home. Getting away in the van is something new, so it's always enjoyable. But if we were to do it full time, then it would just become normality. And we'd have to find something else for our enjoyment. Having said all that though, it's very clear that some people manage to do this and have a wonderful time doing it. I must say, I'm always grateful when I can get my home and sink into that lovely bath we have there. We had a walk around the park, but I have to admit the feeling of wanting to go home began to grow stronger. We decided to head into Gloucester. Now I've said many times before that Carol seems to go on and on when we're on these trips and it's me that suddenly brings them to conclusion. And it was here as we pondered whether we could stay overnight in this car park that I decided I'd had enough and we headed for home. So you can't park all night. No. And that, folks, is how open-ended trips come to an end. The weather may have been awful, but we did have a good time down in the Forest of Dean. And so now I think it's time to have a look back on what we saw whilst we were there.
much deeper I will shout Let me know now 